Once again, as we look at these many types of parallel line problems, we need to recognize these different types of angles. And the first one I see is the fact that we've got um, corresponding angles. And the corresponding angles are going to be this angle here along with that angle there. And what we know about corresponding angles is if we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, which we do, then corresponding angles are equal. 2y equals 58, and if we divide both sides by 2 to undo the multiplication, we're going to get our value for y, and don't forget the decimals, calculator, whatever works for you, this is 29. But we also have, in this particular problem, we have a linear pair. And we'll get rid of those marks here, but if we look at this, we have that, that's a linear pair, but actually, um, that's what I, actually, that's what I want, a linear pair. And what we know about linear pairs here is that if we take those two values, the 58, when we add it to the 2x, we will sum 380 degrees. Linear pairs are supplementary, so we can subtract 58 from both sides. Then we get 2x equals 122. And then we divide both sides by 2, and we get x is 61. Letter I. Again, identify the different types of angles. And as I look at this one and this one, what we see there is that these are alternate exterior angles. And what we know about alternate exterior angles are that they are equal. So we can take 7x minus 15, and we set it up equals 4x plus 45, and solve it the way your algebra 1 teacher taught you. Let's move our letter to the left, if you're going to stick with me. 7x minus 4x is 3x minus 15, which is 45. Add 15 to both sides, we get 3x equals 60, and then finally we'll divide both sides by 3, and x is 1. So there's one of the variables, but we also need to find the value of y, and once again, that's going to go back to um, the linear pair uh, in my uh, estimate. It's not the only way to do the problem. But what I see there is if we use our linear pair, and I, I need to write it somewhere else because I'm not going to have enough space, but linear pair is the other angle, set of angles that we have. And when we go back and look at the problem, what I see is that 7x minus 15 plus 3y plus 12 equals 108, just like the previous problem. And we know that x is 20. We just found that value here, and we can still see it on the page. So it's 7 times 20 minus 15 plus 3y plus 12 equals 180. How do we solve this equation? We're going to start with 7 times 20. 140 minus 16 plus 3y plus 12 equals 180. And then we can combine our terms. Well, 140 minus 16 plus 12, those are all like terms. 140 minus 15 plus 12 gives us 137.
we get 137 plus 3y equals 180. And as we get closer to solving what y equals, we are not going to get an integer answer this time. We're not going to get a whole number, which is how some of you would uh, call that. We're going to have a fraction in our answer in this one. And it's not that we can't have fractions, it's just that we haven't had a lot of that. But if we subtract 137 um, from 180, we get 43. And then we can finish this problem. We're going to divide both sides by 3. And we end up with y equals 43 thirds. Um, don't convert that to a decimal. It's a repeating decimal. It's easier to write it in the fraction form. Letter J. Again, a lot going on in this problem, and we need to identify uh, the different uh, types of angles that we have. Uh, first and foremost here, as I look at the x values in this particular problem, what I see is that this angle is on the top of the parallel line and to the left of the green vertical. X plus 56 is on top of the parallel line and to the left of the transversal. And because of that, we have corresponding angles. And with corresponding angles, two parallel lines cut by transversal, then corresponding angles are equal. Now we're going to solve again, solve the way your algebra wants you to do. Let's subtract x from both sides and we get x plus 2 equals 56. And then we can subtract 3 from both sides. And we end up with x equals 2 to 4. But we also have to figure out what does y equal. And um, as we look at the y's here, um, I think to keep it simple, again, I would go back to the linear pair idea. Um, there is no immediate relationship between the y plus 7 and the 3y minus 17. They're both exterior, but they're not alternate exterior. So um, I would take the x plus 56 it might be nice if I wrote this. When we go back to the linear pair, the x plus 56 plus the y plus 7. And again, the linear pairs combine to be 180 degrees. We just found moments ago that x is 54. So we can fill that in. And then we've got plus the 56 plus the y plus 7 equals 180. And if we combine like terms, we've got 54 and 56 and 7. 54 plus 56 plus 7 gives us 117 plus y is 180. And then finally we can subtract 117 from both sides. And what we do? We get 63.